This video was made to demonstrate some new features of Smart Camera View 2.60. Other versions may have some differences. New algorithm for scripts. Although it does not show in the interface, this is the key of this update. Smart Camera View 2.60 is written on a completely new algorithm, with almost all functions are rewritten to improve overall performance. You can see a significant performance increase on setting up batch rendering, deleting, selecting, and switching cameras. In some cases, performance is increases by 3000%, although the difference is only in seconds, but it will make for a much better experience. It also helps to bring more settings option to the script and expands the customization possibilities for the future. New Batch Grab Viewport function. You can right click on Render All or Render Selected to Batch Grab Viewport. It will give you a quick preview before starting to render or send it to partners or customers. New Use Custom Color option, which used to set a custom wireframe color for the camera icon. New Hot Switch option, which allows you to switch the viewport to the selected camera view when open the script. It has the option Don't Open Script to make it work like the original 3D's Max camera view. New Selection Sync option which allows you to enable or disable synchronization of the selection in the camera list with the selection in the viewport. Disabling it will slightly increase the performance of the camera selection features. New mouse function option, which allows you to set custom functions when right-clicking and double-clicking on a camera. There are four options, select target, select camera and target, normal switch, and hot switch. Normal switch will switch the viewport to the selected camera view, and change the resolution and aspect ratio too. Hot switch works exactly like normal switch except it will close the script, like the original 3D's Max Cam review. New Better Fix Duplicate Name Function Algorithm. Now the automatically rename duplicate cameras function, remove space and replace with underscore option will be enabled by default, strongly recommend. Finalize and fix bugs related to the lock viewport feature. Lock viewport can now work perfectly in light mode. New save, load, and reset options to save the current setting, load settings from a file, and reset everything to their default values. And many more improvements, see full at d95design.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.